New today, missing woman found in the Northland, and police believe that two men abducted her after breaking into her home. Lindsay Shively has been following the story all morning. She joins us live from 44th and North Jackson. And Lindsay, this is where police found her. Uh, no, this is this is where police came to get her. Let me explain. This is where she asked to be dropped off when somebody picked her up when they saw her at about 8:30 this morning. Uh, somebody was driving near Parvin and Choteau Road. They saw this woman walking uh, disoriented seemed pretty out of it. And then he realized he recognized her face from pictures he saw on TV uh, this morning from this story because we've been showing them all morning trying to make sure police could find her. He asked her where she wanted to go. She asked him to bring her here. And this is where police came to take her to the hospital uh, just to get her checked out. I've talked to the people inside the home where she was. All they would tell me is that they are friends, not relatives. They just thought this was a safe place, most likely, where she thought she could go. So that's why she asked to be brought here. She said she is okay that she just needed to be checked out of the hospital, so that's what they're doing here. Uh, take a look. This is the picture that we have been showing that made this man realize that this is who we were talking about. It's 21-year-old Alexandra Barker. She goes by Barbie. Again, she was found. She was disoriented, walking along the side of the road. Police aren't sure if she escaped her captors or if they just dropped her off. A lot of mystery still surrounding this right now, this midday. So this all started Tuesday at 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, two men in their 20s or 30s broke into a house probably about a mile from here, if that. They had 9 millimeter with a silencer. They had an assault rifle. They woke a man up. They handed him some zip ties. They made him tie himself up, and then they used a belt to attach him to a food on there, threatening him, demanding money while his kids were sleeping in another bedroom. The victim says his girlfriend was asleep on the couch and he heard the suspects talk about taping over her mouth and taking her. When he finally got free, he realized that she was gone. So that's where we are right now. She is at the hospital. We're hearing that she uh, is alive. She survived all of this. They are just getting her checked out. As soon as we more, more, know more details about this, we'll be sure to let you know. We're live in the Northland. Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News.